Hello and welcome back to Something to Say with Shemaine. I'm your host, Shemaine, and today we have two lovely guests with me, Miranda Gauntlet and Kiara Joseph. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Um, so today we're going to talk about politics and voting. How do you guys feel about, you know, voting at such an age as this? How old are you, may I ask, first? Um, I'm 15 years old. And you? And I am 16 years old now. I know some young adults like yourselves cringe at the thought of politics and voting. How do you guys feel about, you know, politics? I feel like, um, I feel like it's very important to any type of government or country or whatever. And, but it is kind of boring, but it's useful. But How um, do you feel about voting in 2018? I'm very excited, actually, because this year is like the first year where I've actually gotten into politics. Why? How um, you know, because of all the candidates, they've kind of had to relate to me and like mm -hmm. my friends and stuff like that. So I've gotten really interested. Right. Would your voting be influenced by your parents' political choice? Whether they're, so say, for example, they're Democrats. They're Democrats, and do, do you guys feel like, oh, I want to rebel against that thought of, I don't want to be Democrats, I want to be Republican, or I don't want to be Republican, I want to be Democrats. Do you guys feel influenced by their choice, or is solely based on, this is what I want, this is who I am? Um, I think so, because uh, if, like I've mentioned, if you're growing up in a Democratic household, um, and you're exposed to democratic ideas and you're in a place where these type of ideas are brought up a lot, mm -hmm. I think your mindset is naturally going to be one of a democratic voter. So this is basically nature versus nurture thing. This is that whole idea of it. Kiara, you're, four, you're 15 and you, you were running um, this week, I th you told me, for oh for there? student government and yeah how was that how was that experience oh, having people voting for you and having to you know convince people to vote for you isn't that hard it's really interesting to see how easy people are willing to vote for you really yeah you know it, it's it's kind of like a publicity game so it's not hard to convince people to vote no it's not that hard, but my position is not that huge. I'm running for spirit liaison. Right. And yeah, it's not like president or something. What is it? What spirit is liaison it? is basically the person who organizes all the themes and events of the, you know, next school dances and stuff like that in spirit weeks. I'm the one that's going to try to amp up school, you know, try to right. make it a little bit better for, the, for all of us. And I feel like that's, that's not exactly what... Um, the next president is going to bring just you know amp, you, you know everyone wants to make america great and i feel that's you know that's been a, m the most focused point um in getting people to vote for you what do you have to say about that um i think it's like this concept of it's very easy to win people over yeah it really is I, it's kind of scary because it like today in the cafeteria when we were helping with the um voting all we did was give people a cookie and they were like, oh, yeah, I'm voting for you. Yeah, I feel like as long as you give someone, you'll have something in return. You know, it's like right. a trade. It's like, okay, you want this and I'll, I'll give it to you and right. I'll get this in return. It's like, you know, a bargain for what you want, mm -hmm. don't you say? I think, I think that with that like that part like it shows how hard you're willing to work for it like in school I put posters and like if there were any school dances like throughout the entire semester from September to sem from September is, to now it is hard work yeah like I've always like been like oh go to the next dance you know mm -hmm. don't forget to dress up you know I've always done that so I think that I've kind of shown that I am worth it you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And giving people cookies and stuff. It shows, oh, okay, well, she's going to give me this. Then why shouldn't I vote for her? She seems like she's serious. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. I agree with Tiara. Like, it's not about the fact that they gave you a cookie. It's about the fact that what, the, how much effort they're really putting in yeah. for it. Like, I saw people walking around the hallways waving flyers, and I was like, wow, you're really putting in effort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that would be interesting to see in a candidate in the actual presidential election. Yeah. And that's what they're bringing to us as, you know, as their people 
to to get us to vote for them. They're doing all this hard work and all this stuff, you know. Thank you for being here on the show with me. And thank you for tuning in to Something to Say with Shemaine.